Hey everybody, Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. How's everybody doing tonight, this Thursday night? I hope. It's a little late for me to be on. I'm not normally on this late. It's almost 10 p.m. on, this, on the Pacific Coast, uh, on the Pacific Coast in Cali, in, in L.A. And uh, <clears throat> I was uh, speaking with a, a woman um, from uh, Australia. And uh, she was sending me messages about how grateful she was for the help that she gets from me from the videos that I do from drumming and singing and uh, that sort of thing. And um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm deeply honored uh, when I get messages and, and people are thanking me for stuff. And I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful that I can do what I can do <clears throat> because I always do whatever it is that I can do, whether it's for myself or with, whether it's for others. <clears throat> And, um, you know, she's a healer as well, and she's not, she's, she's physically ill, and uh, I'm able to do what I do for her, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Now, uh, there's also other people, you know, who reach out to me, and um, they ask for help, and then they disappear. And I don't understand what kind of help they're getting or what it is they're looking for, or maybe um, I don't give them the answer that they're looking for, um, because I have to give them the answer that that I'm told to give them, not the, I know, I'm not a yes man, you know, I was, um, I went, uh, I, I, I've been sober for 27 years, and when uh, I first got into AA, I, well, all, all, all my years in AA, I hear people, you know, um, try to uh, outdo their sponsors, you know, they're always giving them uh, double talk and, and um, lip service, and I don't give double talk and lip service, I'm going to tell you how it is, I'm going to tell you directly, and if you don't like that, I can't help you, you know, but I'm going to tell, I'm going to give you the information that I feel is best for you, for you, because if you knew what was best for you, you wouldn't be asking, but you'll go out there and chase the answer, uh, especially when it comes to like tarot or mediums and people who are reading readers, you know, people, there's people out there constantly chasing the answer, but they won't stop, go inside, take breath into their body get quiet, ground, oh, ground, be still, and listen. They're too busy in their frantic search for the answers of being or doing, the, let me rephrase that, they're too busy in the frantic search of doing that they don't know how to be in the stillness of being, aho, aho. It's difficult, especially when you're a healer. Um, you know, you're out there trying to help people, and you're out there helping people, but something gets lost in the translation of healing others, and it's taking care of yourself. It's called self-care. It's called self-nurturance. It's called you first always, self-doing, doing for yourself. And I have to tell you, you need to know you can't give away what you haven't got. You know? Um, I've hear a lot of stuff and I have to chuckle sometimes and I do just like some may chuckle and what I say that you know either way doesn't matter but um, you know what are the messages that you're looking for and if you're truly trying to help somebody are you truly able to help yourself first you first always me first always a whole a whole I don't know. There's, um, you know, I, I logged on because there was a couple of guys that asked me for help the other day, and they disappeared. And it was about weight, you know. And and, and I got to tell you that the dumbest place to ask for a question is Facebook. Is Facebook, because you're going to get two thousand dumb answers and four thousand dumber answers for the one question that you asked. And I don't know when people are going to learn this, but you know. Um, the, these two guys asked about diet. You know, they're overweight. They need to lose a particular amount of weight. But they're making it about the food. They're making it about a diet. Diet. D-I-E hyphen T. Die. You know, there's a lot of people who start out the new year and they create a, um, a resolution and they're going to lose 20 pounds. And they, they, they're running out the gate and they're going to the gym every day and about two weeks in, you know, oh, I'm not going to go to the gym today. I'm tired. I got home from work, and I'm just—I just, just want to rest. And before you know it, they're face down in a box of pizza. 
you know, and uh, they're and and three months later they're up ten pounds, not down twenty. They're up, and that's the case with diets. Everybody's doing a keto diet. Everybody's doing some kind of diet right now, and I have to tell you, I did the work that's internal. Uh, I used to try diets uh, in in my younger days, and they don't work. They don't work because you're left with um, you're still left with yourself. You haven't done any of the personal work, the emotional work, the the shadow work that's necessary to keep the weight off. I hope I have been my weight. I was actually 160 pounds for five years, maybe longer, uh, maybe longer. And in the last year plus, I've dropped 10, not on purpose, because I eat I eat pretty well, but um, my body doesn't seem to carry the need to carry the weight because um, when I was heavy. When I was 238 pounds, I carried the weight in my second chakra, area of the second chakra. I carried the weight in the area of the third chakra. Second chakra is connection to others, connection to self. It's, it's where we heal. It's where we feel. It's where we, where, um, uh, where we connect to divine feminine, divine masculine, right? Third chakra is fire, fuego. I can, I will, I do, I am. Esteem, low or no self-esteem. I had low or no self-esteem, so I was always feeding myself something you know I was feeding myself because I didn't know how to feed myself anything good like information like information I didn't know how to lean in and listen 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 I listen carefully to what people say to me <laughs> I listen real carefully and uh, I've been able to learn how to stand in my power I've been able to learn how to not live in low esteem. Uh, I've been able to learn how to connect with myself and, and give my heart what it wants, what it needs. Aho, aho. You know, I don't walk around with a broken heart and, 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 and fill my, uh, my broken heart with, with cigarette smoke or pot, you know, and people will say, well, you know, uh, pot, it's a, it's a sacred medicine. Yeah, but you're misusing sacred medicine. And if all, with, when all said and done, you're going to call yourself on that. You are misusing sacred medicines. The same with alcohol. Spirits in, spirit out. Aho, aho. I have been sober for 27 years. I do not have a need to drink alcohol. It's not my thing. And it's not been my thing for quite a long time. Now, I just said 27 years. Two and seven is nine. That's the number of completion. There's no mistake there. There is no mistake there. Aho. So what is it that you feed yourself um, that you don't really need. Do you feed yourself lies? Do you lie to yourself? And I'm getting closer to the camera for a reason because I want you to look at my face. Do you feed yourself lies about what it is you want to do, what it is and how it is you want to do for yourself? Do you lie to those around you? Do you lie on this form of social media to those who may be following you and wanting to learn from you but you don't know how to speak your truth and be transparent about who it is you are and what it is that you do or are not able to do. Aho, aho. I try to be as transparent as possible. You know, I, I, I had my accident back in, in on February 14th, a video. I did a live video back then about what happened in that accident and the mistakes that I made and the things that I didn't do. And I was very clear about that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I say I am, um, I am a tree that's rooted and fruited, and what is my fruit? I allow the birds of the air to nest in my branches and eat of my fruit. And what is my fruit? My fruit is the experience of how I got from point A to point B. And I'm serious about that. So when I tell you my truth, I'm not lying to you because I want you to know that you can too. You will too if you become willing to listen, if you become willing to stop lying to yourself. You know, years ago, I had a client who uh, I was a private trainer years ago, and I would ask her, you know, um, to write down what uh, a uh, write down what it is that she ate during the day and she refused to do it and when we would go out to get a bite to eat or something, she would eat like this. She was dainty. She was an obese woman. But she was fooling herself and she wasn't fooling me because I know, I know, I knew then uh, what I know now. You know, we try to fool others. We try to fool ourselves. And you know what? Our covers are going to get pulled. 
You know, one of those guys that asked me about a diet the other day went into back surgery, I believe it was yesterday. You know, um, and you don't have to have back surgery. You don't have to have uh, a lot of medical procedures that, that, that they're being had out there. If you just take the time to do the shadow work and the emotional work, get in touch with the emotional self, the emotional body, the energetic emotional body, you can change your life and the lives of others around you by not lying to yourself. Aho, 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 aho. Now, I've been sitting at the, in the kitchen for the last two or three hours, just sitting there. You know, I had dinner, but I've been sitting there nursing a couple of glasses of iced tea and just, you know, going through pictures and doing stuff and talking to people around the world, you know, uh, um, because they need prayer and they need help. But uh, it's the people that are right in front of us that can't help themselves. And, um, you know, they find themselves dog paddling all the time. And they don't know how to get out of the pool. They don't know how to make their way out of the pool. You know, they can't find the steps because they become unwilling to look for the steps. They just become willing to paddle, dog paddle and dog paddle and not go anywhere. Aho, aho, aho. Anyways, um, I don't know why spirit put it on me to get on here this late at night to talk about this stuff. But apparently there are those who needed to hear it. Aho, aho. I also just finished talking with a family member who, um, as soon as we started talking, he locked up like this. And right in here, I could see the block. And it, not just in here, it was here, it was in the heart space, it was in, it was in the, the third chakra, the fire, the fuego, I can, I will, I do, the I am, the lower no self-esteem. It was in the second chakra, you know. We, we can warn people about what's going to happen to them in their lives and they won't listen because they know better. And then when things happen in their lives, they know better. <laughs> I'm the same way. Hi, human. You know, I, when I had my accident in February, I knew better. But I didn't do better by my, for myself. You know, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. But I'm going to make those mistakes in front of you so you know how to not how to avoid potential landmines because it's worth it for me to show you that and talk to you about avoiding potential landmines so you can continue to help others, help others, help others, help others. Aho, aho, aho. Anyways, that's all I needed to say. Like I said, I'm not usually on on a Thursday. Yesterday was Warrior Wednesday and I was uh, down in uh, North San Diego County with a friend enjoying my day. I was traveling and I didn't, I just didn't do my thing. I did my uh, a drumming thing and singing thing earlier. Check that out. There'll be a lot of healing if you, if you check that out. I was out in the canyon in Placerita Canyon here in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, I uh, just decided to click on and say hello and talk about some things, you know. Uh, the things I talk about are very serious and uh, sometimes I rub, rub people the wrong way. But if I rub you the wrong way, what I say rubs you the wrong way, you need to fi figure out what it is that wh and why it is that you're rubbed the wrong way because that's got nothing to do with me. Oh, no. It's not my job to worry about how things fall on you or land on you. But it is your job to understand when they land on you the way they do what to do with them and how you can overcome anger and fear and hurt and shame and wounds. I'm not here to shame anybody. I'm here to help people. Aho. So if you want to know how to avoid those things, if you want to know how to change your life and how to change the life of, lives of others, tune in. Tune in to me. Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, the transformational sacred drum medicine. You never know what you'll learn. Aho. There's a lot of smart guys out there. There's a lot of smart guys out there that are always dog paddling. And I got tired of dog paddling. Aho. Shinawana honata. Aho. Shinawana hey. So I'm going to sing us out. I don't have a drum. I do have a drum, but I just don't, you know, there's people sleeping in other rooms and I don't want to do that. But, um, you know, I'm going to sing, um, uh, Huh, I don't know what I'm going to sing. Iowana Ishtu. Because Iowana Ishtu says, Cover me, cover me, cover me in spirit. 
Cover me. Cover me. Cover me in spirit. Oh. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. When I sing, sing along with me and learn the songs. And I will explain what the meanings are when I can. Aho. So, I want to cover me in spirit. Be blessed. Be blessed. And take care of yourself first and always. Aho honata. Aho hey, Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine, asking you to have a blessed Thursday night. Monday, Thursday. Aho.